Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to register your CF1R report. What we have here is Energy Pro version 8 and we have created a project. Uh, this is a residential project. Uh, once the project has been created, you'll want to calculate it and make sure that it complies with the Title 24 standards. To do so, you'll go under the Calculations tab and you will select Residential Title 24 Performance and then you'll want to click on the Calculate tab up here. This project's already been calculated and as you can see it is 7.6% in compliance which means it does comply with the Title 24 standards. Once your project is in compliance you're ready to register your CF1R report. Prior to registering the CF1R report we recommend that you view it in Energy Pro to check it for any errors or spelling mistakes. You can do this by going under the Reports tab and you'll want to select Residential Title 24 Performance and the form CF1R-PRF-01-E. Once that's selected, you can click on the Print Preview function and that's going to open the CF1R report. As you can see, this one has not been registered yet, so it has a watermark stating that it is not registered. Uh, you'll need to make sure you register the project first before you can submit for permitting. So now we can look over our report and make sure everything looks okay. If everything looks okay, we'll proceed with registering. Back in Energy Pro, you'll want to click on the Register tab and select Residential CF1R. If this is a first time registration for you, first thing you'll want to do is go under the Account tab and make sure you get your password entered. You'll know that your password's entered because your EnergySoft account balance will show your balance. If you need to add funds, you can do so right here by selecting the amount you want to add and then clicking Add Funds. That's going to direct you to PayPal's website to complete the transaction. Once you're logged in and you have funds in your account, you can go back to the Register CF1R tab. From here, we have three options. You have the Cheers Auto Register function, which I will demonstrate first. You have the Cheers Manual Register and the CalCERT's Manual Register. The manual register function is basically going to create a XML file that you'll save to your computer and then later log into your Cheers or CalCERTS account online and upload that XML file to your project. Once you upload the file and complete the sign-offs online, you'll be able to download the report directly from either Cheers or CalCERTS. For the Cheers Auto Register function, first thing we'll want to do is make sure we've selected Cheers Auto Register, and you'll want to make sure that you enter your Cheers credentials right here. If you need access to your Cheers credentials, you'll want to reach out to Cheers directly for that information. Now we're ready to register, we'll click on the Register button, and this message right here is basically letting you know that this project in particular has already been registered, and it's not going to charge us a fee because we're re-registering it. Go ahead and click OK. So here you're going to input a little bit of information for Cheers. Uh, they want the homeowner's information here and there's a few other items which may not pertain to you. Um, if someone else is going to be signing as the responsible party, you'll want to check this box here to be able to select them. If it's going to be you signing, you don't need to check anything here. Next we'll click OK. And now you're going to have to wait while Energy Pro communicates with Cheers on all the project information and gets the registered report delivered back. Uh, this can take upwards of 30 seconds to a minute depending on uh, your internet connection and computer speed. Okay, so now that it's uh, popped up with this dialog box, uh, it's letting us know that the project is now registered with Cheers. 
uh, you can click here to go directly to Cheers website to view the project. And uh, you can either save the XML file, which we recommend you do just to keep in your uh, documents as a backup. But if you're done, you can go ahead and click OK. And now here is our registered CF1R report from Cheers. You can see it has the Cheers watermark. And this is the document that you're going to need when you go in for permitting. Next, I'm going to demonstrate uh, real quickly the manual register function. Um, it's the same for Cheers and CalCert, so either way, you just want to select which one you're going to use, and then you will select register. All right, same message as before. It's basically saying us that it's already been registered and we're not going to be charged again. So here we are going to save the XML file. Uh, you'll want to select a location on your computer that you can come back later and locate that file. So once you've saved the file, like I said, you will log into either Cheers or CalCerts and upload that file to complete the registration process. Once the registration process is completed, you'll be able to download that CF1R report directly from Cheers or CalCerts website. That completes this video.